Here we are in section 5.3 with numbers 1 through 7. Number 1, identify the greatest common factor. So we're trying to find the biggest thing that will go into all three of them. 14 has a 2 times a 7. 49 is a 7 times a 7. So hey, look, we've got a 7 in both of them. you think a 7 goes into that one? Probably. That's 2 and 56. That's 8 and 7. Hey, look, there's your 7. This will break down to 2 times 4 and some more 2s. But that guy doesn't have any 2s. So 7 is the answer, greatest common factor. Number 2, oh, well, we have an x in everything, so we're at least going to get an x. But let's try the numbers. 15 is 3 times 5. 39 is 3 times 13. 52, what is that? Well, it's even. So we can go 2 times 26, and that's 2 times 13. Uh, 13 is in these two, but not in that one, so we can't use it. Uh, 3 is in these two, but not that one, so there's no number that will go into 15, 39, and 52. So just x is the only thing we can get that's in all of those. Okay, number 3. Ooh, let me see. Looking at these, we have a j squared and a j squared. No j squared over here, so the j's are out. We can't use those. Okay, we have a k squared, a k cubed, and a k. So at least we have a k that's in all of them. Um, okay, now let's try the numbers. This one's what, 5 times 9 and 3 times 3? If we're looking for 5s or 3s or something like that, this is uh, 2 times 40, 2 times 20, 5 times 4. Okay, so it looks like so far the 4 will break down into a 2 and a 2, but there's a 5 that's in both of them. Uh, yeah, that'll 21 and 7 times 3. So notice the 3 is in these two, but it's not in this one. So we can't use a 3. Uh, these guys don't have 7, so that's it. We have a 5. 5k. Greatest common factor. Okay. Next set. Factor the following by pulling out the greatest common factor. So don't just find it, actually do some factoring here. So 49, 21, and 14. Now we could do this factoring like we did up here, but I think we can see it a little bit clearly. These are all multiples of 7. So we can pull out a 7, and it looks like we have 5x's there, 3x's there, and 2x's there. So the biggest thing that is common is an x squared. If we pull that out, pull a 7 out, we're left with a 7. Pull two of those x's out, and we're left with three of them. Plus, let me see, pull a 7 out of 21, and we've got a 3. Pull x squared out of x cubed, and we have an x. And minus, pull a 7 out of 14, we get a 2 and pull the x squared out. That's good. Now you can double check this by jumping it back in. 7x squared times 7x cubed, that'd be a 49x to the fifth plus 21x cubed minus 14x squared. Good. Number five. Ooh, 24, 96, and 72. I, they are all multiples of 12. Let's try that. Let's see if it works. So 12, what else can we pull out? Uh, there's an x squared in everything, right? x cubed and x cubed and the y's. You've got three of them here, three of them here, and two of them there. So it's going to be an x squared, y squared. Good. So we're going to be left with two xy, because we pulled out an x squared and a y squared, plus 96 divided by 12, that's 8. The x squared comes out, but only one y is left, minus 6x. Ooh, these are all even. We can go a little bit further. We can take a 2 out of all of these. All over, back over to here. So it looks like we could have actually pulled out a 24x squared y to begin with. And we would have been left with xy plus 4y minus 3x. So wow, they're all multiples of 24. So there's our answer right there. Number six, let me see, 15, 12, and 9, I think they're all multiples of 3. We've got an x squared, an x squared, and x squared. We can pull the x squareds out. y cubed, y cubed, y cubed. Wow, that's in everything. And z squared, z, and no z's, so we can't pull that guy out. So we'll have to 5z squared, because we pulled the x squared, y cubed out, minus 4z, because we pulled the x squared, y cubed out, and plus 3, just like that. And there we go. Number 7. 
18p cubed minus 6p squared plus 14p to the fourth plus 2rs. Let me see. P cubed, P squared, P to the fourth. These guys have some come, but there's no letter P right over there. We can't do anything with the P's. So let's go with the numbers. Let me see. This guy is 9 times 2. That's 2 times 3. 2 times 7 and a 2. It looks like 2 is the only thing we can pull out. 9P to the third minus 3P squared plus 7P to the fourth plus RS. Is there anything common still that we can pull out? Nope, we're good.